This recent article has gotten a lot of talk in my circles. Small increased risk in breast cancer with levonorgestrel IUD. This was a study done in, in Sweden, women 18 to 50 that had a levonorgestrel IUD. You may have heard of it as Mirena, and they had over 500,000 women in this study. So in this study, they had a 13% increased risk of breast cancer, a 33% decrease in uterine cancer, a 14% decrease in ovarian cancer, and a 9% decrease in cervical cancer. So overall pretty good, but an increased risk of breast cancer. And so this spurned a lot of posts from other uh, menopause pr practitioners or maybe OBGYN. So the bottom line is this, if you need birth control, you need birth control. That's a different, that's a different discussion. If you are done with your family, you need to consider that if you continue to have a Mirena IUD or a Skyla or a levonorgestrel IUD, there could be a slight increased risk of breast cancer. 13% is slight, but there is an increased risk. And I think that women aren't told this. So I think the bottom line is my recommendation to my patients is when you're done with children, do permanent birth control. Get your tubes tied, get your vasectomy. Try not to continue on hormonal birth control if you don't need it. If you need it and you need to prevent pregnancy, yes, then I understand. Then that's a different discussion. But my problem is, is when these um, are used either as a source of progestin and hormone therapy, now we have to remember there's an increased risk of breast cancer with that. If you're taking estrogen and your doctor tells you that your progestin IUD is your form of progesterone, then you are, are need to acknowledge that there's an increased risk of breast cancer. And secondly, when they're done as hormone therapy or for medical issues, that's my issue.